evening, folks, and welcome to News Channel 5. I'm Steve Phillips, and tonight we're going to be talking about the Obama campaign. Uh, here's Janelle talking to some of our constituents. Hi, I'm Janelle. I'm here with Jack, representative of J.G. Oil. What do you think about President Obama in this debate? Well, let's look at the J.G. Oil spill. The President had an Oval Office address to discuss what happened. He then told BP Oil to mobilize additional equipment to remove 90% of the oil that spilled. He knew it was the worst disaster this country's ever seen for oil. And he had an initiative to make sure this never happened again by using clean er energy in the future. Okay. Next question is for Sandy. What do you think about President Obama's public communication skills? I think he is so amazing. There's like this website called ObamaPublicSpeaking.com and you can pay like $30 for it and you can be like, talk like him. Like, that's like the best thing ever. And he never like stutters or anything. And he's just so handsome and beautiful. And he reminds me of Morgan Freeman when he speaks. And any time that he gives a powerful speech, all the women around cry because he's just so powerful. And I just wish that I could have a man like him in my life. Interesting. Thanks, Sandy. Our next question goes to Rose. What, do you, what are your thoughts on the president's morality? Well, like, he's really not afraid to show his morals, and he's really big into gay rights. You know, he, um, he actually came out in front of the whole country and said that he really believes in gay rights, and he, um, he's against the establishment, and he's not afraid to speak his own mind, and he believes that women should be making the choice on their health and not a bunch of po men politicians. And now to Dr. West. How do you think the president has done thus far in his, with his political skills? Well, <clears throat> let's look at Obamacare. Um, he promised to uh, change health care, and he did that. He provided insurance to 40 million, pe 40 million people who didn't have it previously. He maintained insurance for elderly people, and he also uh, gave insurance to people with pre-existing conditions. Thanks, Dr. West. And now back to you. Thank you, Janelle. And now we're going to go to John at the local mall talking with some constituents about uh, Obama's policies. Thanks. We're here with Frank, who's agreed to answer a couple of questions about Obama with us. Uh, Frank, have you been following the election? Yes. What do you think about Obama? Pretty good, overall. Okay. Um, what has he accomplished so far that makes you confident about re-electing him for a second term? Uh, probably Obama um, care. What do you think about his energy policy? Very pro energy policy. I like how he supports clean energy. And um, before we go, what do you believe is the most crucial accomplishment of this? Either Obamacare or uh, killing the fellow Obama. Thank you very much, Frank. Okay, I'm here with Beth and Patrick, who've agreed to talk to us about President Obama. Uh, how have you guys been following the presidential race so far? No. Kind of. <laughs> okay, what are you guys' feelings on President Obama? I like him better than Romney because everybody else does. <laughs> uh, yeah, I like him better than Romney. Okay, um, <laughs> what do you think will be the reason for you to vote for him this upcoming election? I'm really for the environment, so like the fact that like he's trying to downsize EPA and all the regulations. <laughs> okay, uh, so, um, before we go, what is the most crucial accomplishment, accomplishment to date from his administration? Um, probably the Obama and Bin Laden killing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. Hey, I'm here with Gabby, who's agreed to talk to us about President Obama. Um, have you been following the presidential race so far? No. <laughs> uh, what are your feelings about President Obama? I think that he was, and he's all right, but if he more of his stuff would get passed, then he might get a little bit better reputation. Okay. Um. What has he accomplished so far in his career that will make you vote for him next term? Um, I think the only thing that I care about would be his like health care because that's the only thing that affects me. Okay. Um, what do you believe uh, the most the crucial accomplishment to date has been? Um, I, I don't really know. Okay, that's fine. Thank okay. you very much. Hey, I'm here with Tom today. Uh, Tom has agreed to talk to us about President Obama. Uh, have you been following the election? Um, I followed somewhat of the election. Um, I do play on voting Tuesday. Okay, uh, how do you feel about President Obama? Um, I feel in towards President Obama are a little mixed. Um, I'm a Republican, but there's some things he's done that's made me a little more 
liberal, I guess, but um, there's some policies that he's promised that he's not enforced that do draw me away from him. Okay, um, what what would be a reason for you to vote for him this term? Um, a positive reason I would vote for President Obama is because Mitt Romney is an absolutely, like, awful. I'm a Republican and I'm saying this. This guy's a gentle He can't even say his ABC. Okay, um, what policies of Obama do you think, um, have been, like, what, 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 what do you, what do you think, what policies do you think have been good for Obama? Um, I'm not sure how to answer this question. Right. <laughs> and now we have a very special interview with, uh, with one of our sports correspondents for the National Sports Program, Don McFadden. Uh, Don, what do you think about the president's job creation over his past term? Well, first off, Steve, you got job creation right here. He's going to break through the line. Obama's going to put in 600,000 new jobs in energy. Now, Don, we know that President Obama has been very pro-education. Uh, how is it? What has he done in his term to benefit uh, students in this day and age? And now students and families right here, they're going to come around. Boom! They're going to come right on up. Obama's giving them a $10,000 tax credit. Well, uh, we know that the war in the Middle East has been a huge priority in the president's campaign in the last four years. Uh, how do you think it's going? All right, let's talk about war. We've been in the Middle East since 2003. Iraq is now done, okay? Uh, 2010, Bin Laden's done. I remember the riots. Afghanistan? Going down soon. 2014, we're going to be out of there. Thanks, Don. Now, we've talked about the president's policies, but what about his family life? What, uh, what's going on in the, in the Obama household today? All right, let's talk about the Obama family. You got Sasha, you got Malia, all coming right from the first lady herself, Michelle. And check it out. They've even got a cute little dog. Its name is Bo. Well, Don, we appreciate you coming down to the studio and talking with us about the Obama campaign. But now I think it's time to close our program. And thank you, everyone, for tuning in uh, tonight for our program. Uh, this is Steve Phillips signing off. BOOM! <laughs>